Hello, welcome back to Air Float. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna try to do something um, interesting, like an interesting experiment. So I have this uh, MacBook Pro currently recording um, a stream of uh, data sharing my iPad screen and also my iPhone screen. You can see everything is real time, right? You can see my face as augmented reality um, recorded using iPhone 10 and I have iPad Pro here and I will be using Apple Pencil basically to generate uh, some kind of face mask. So I also have this Blender here, uh, Blender 3D. I'm using Blender 3D open source to do um, some kind of, all kind of 3D uh, data processing and also um, I, I generate some kind of face mask sometimes. But you will see, um, I actually started by capturing my face. Okay, first of all, I capture my face using the iPhone 10. So this is my face in 3D. Let me zoom in. And I let me delete everything first. So we have just the face. Uh, let me use mouse. So okay, this is my face, right? And in Blender, of course, you can you can do like a face painting and everything but i will attempt to do that using the ipad pro and the iphone 10. um so this is the face and if we are oh sorry my desk is so messy and i go if i switch to uv editing and you can see this face if i go to edit mode this face has a uv a UV is like a 2D flat plane where you can do some painting on the face and it will be reflected in 3D and that way you can create a face painting and I will attempt to do this using the iPad Pro and the iPhone 10. so I can I basically I save out this UV and then into send it to my iPad Pro using Dropbox and you will see that uh, this is kind of interesting so now let's back. Now I'm gonna switch to the iPad Pro. So now this is live and I should turn off the notification. I did, I'm pretty sure I turned off notification for Google Photos. It keeps coming back. Sorry about that. But anyhow, this, this screen should be bigger. I actually should, can hide the, the frame I believe. Show frame, height frame, so we don't need to see the frame. So we, we can have bigger picture for the iPad. And I have my face here, so I can keep doing this while painting. Wow, Google Photos, really annoying. Um, well, anyhow, let's get started. So basically the idea is I have a UV map here that I can send to my iPhone at any time and then load it. So let's say I have, this is the UV map from Blender and I can send it using AirDrop and I should receive it here on the iPhone 10 and I can use it as AR. This is, uh, I'm using, by the way, I'm using this FaceMaker app FaceMaker AR app for iPhone 10 exclusively and the developer is Tim Sears if you want to find find out about it so here you see the UV map from Blender is uh, the one that I save into Dropbox and then goes into the iPad Pro is now mapped into my face I can basically now with that idea I can basically use the iPad Pro to paint my face so let's do that. This is like uh, an example, right? This is a UV example. Um, so I will be using, I can use any kind of app, but I think I will be using, uh, I like to use Paper 53, but I also use Procreate. Let me try. So inside Procreate, I have here already an example of face texture, just a random one. So this one also, kind of interesting I can 
if I'm done, I've done with a texture or something, I can just simply tap there and then share it as PNG, exporting it out and then airdrop it into my iPhone 10. And with the iPhone 10, I can just grab it and then, you know, it should appear somewhere here. Oh, probably it didn't send to my iPhone. Hmm. Let me try again later, but basically we have the UV over here and we can paint some kind of uh, random mask. So let me try. Just we'll be using the brush. Let me pick a brush and let's try organic. Let's paint. So this is uh, some kind of organic paint brush. I'm using my Apple Pencil doing this uh, random, oh, just re using random color. I'm basically, will be using this as a mask. So yeah, I think that's enough. I'm not, see, I'm not painting on the UV. I'm just, I have this texture. It's all like transparent. And now I can try and send it, save it as PNG. We want the transparency and send it to my iPhone 10, hopefully. Sometimes um, the Mac actually take this, but we want it on the iPhone. So let me accept it. See? It's sending both to my MacBook and also on the iPhone. But anyhow, so I did it. So I have this texture. Now I can put it on my face. See? Pretty cool, right? Uh, but you have to know that this app, I've been demoing this app a couple of times. This app actually can, you can also paint using uh, your finger, right? So, something like this this one is kind of like a limited but that's why i'm giving like this demo because i like to show you that we can do this in real time using finger painting you know but you can also use like um, an ipad pro and do like a proper painting let me let me try to do it again with a proper you know like proper brush let me try um first of all we want you want to give like a like a base color right base color let's pick a color um i don't know what skin we have so like a brownies the procreate is really really cool app i it's really powerful for doing painting for artists because it's really fluid and there is no like see no lag at all when you're doing a painting and I'm just giving like a base layer and let's now give it like a a bit maybe darker color you know for my cheek my eye maybe sleepy eyes and then my lips it's very random and then uh, I try not to cover the UV actually I can do it uh, this way put the UV on the on the top while still painting at the bottom layer and so now I can switch to different brush um, calligraphy maybe and with this one I can be more precise and give it like maybe some kind of eyebrow for my face it's gonna be so random and using this different color okay how to get okay red doesn't matter just really colorful face mask basically see on the iPad and I will colorize the nose as well this is really really fun and very enjoyable purple for the nose uh, I know that some some African tribe actually likes to do this to paint their their face and I, I found it it's very interesting that we are like a as a modern human being and we live in the city and we, we like to do this face painting I think it's fun uh, even though it's 
yeah it's a bit random this one but it's really fun if you give it to kids they'll enjoy it yeah let's give it some something like that so we have our face mask i should have made this bigger there you go we have our face mask and i will try to airdrop it okay to my iphone just tap there tap share png and then hopefully within seconds we're gonna get it on the iphone 10. send it to myself it's sending it to my macbook pro uh which is because i'm using the same account i think that's why supposedly i want it on the iphone Well, I can accept it on the MacBook Pro, I guess. Ah, here you go. Okay. Cool. I get the texture here. Go back to the app. And let's check it out. Just adjust this face pane. Now we have it correctly placed on my face. Okay. And I have to say that we need to still do the adjusting on the UV and stuff. Oh, I got the UV being exported. I That's a mistake. It should be just like this. So let's do it again. Send the PNG. Hopefully send to the iPhone, not the MacBook Pro, please. Nope. Yep. Accept. All right. Now we are... We are on the business. I can try, just clear everything, wrap our new face painting, and we should have a matching UV because I'm using my own face capture. Well, there you go. It's, uh, actually, I'm still getting the yellow color. Why is that? Let me check real quick. So this guy shouldn't have the... What? Did I get the right team? Exporting. Send it. Accept it. There you go. Clear. Um, clear. Let me grab the proper face painting. Okay, now we got it. Finally. Okay, so I got my face now. Yeah, it's working perfectly. So. I, I guess this is a I like to share this because it's kind of interesting that so that you started with a uh, something in blender right this is my face captured and we send the UV into the iPad Pro and so I'm working kind of like a kind of if, if I'm actually mobile and I'm, I'm not recording this if I'm on the street and I'm just bringing like my iPad Pro and iPhone 10 I believe with if the iPod iPad Pro has the AR camera somehow, I I can actually work here, maybe in real time, painting my face. Currently, the the AR camera, the true depth is only on the iPhone 10, so we are only be able to do this using the iPhone 10 camera. But in the near future, I'm sure I'm not maybe in 2018 if if Apple actually does release the iPad Pro with a true depth camera, you can do this in real time. You know, like painting your face um, currently of course we can we can always do this using finger but uh, I'm pretty sure we can do this even easier on the iPad Pro so so yeah um, so yeah there, there's a quick demo using the iPhone 10 iPad Pro uh, recorded on the MacBook Pro um, 
yeah, I have nothing much else to say, but uh, uh, it's this kind of a workflow that I was thinking if Apple ever ever gonna merge the iPhone iPhone and iPad so they can talk together very easily. I think they they got it all already, so you can do like a stream of data easily. So you can paint on the iPad Pro maybe and then transfer it easier. We don't need to airdrop every time, just update it. Okay, hopefully you enjoy this and I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.